the new Shield Arms Z9 magazine for the Glock 43. Let's check it out. When the Glock 43 was introduced, it was a very small single stack pistol. And during that time, single stacks were the rage for concealed carry. They were so thin, uh, they were small, they were easy to carry, and yet you still had nine millimeter. It was a six plus one magazine. So it was really limited, but it was really small. Not long after Glock introduced their Model 43X. Uh, and this had a 10 round magazine, and but yet it had a longer grip and to be honest, it's one of the largest of the new Micronines. But then S.H.I.E.L.D. introduced the S15 magazine, which was a 15 plus one magazine that went into the Glock 43X. The big thing is it took the Glock 43X and made it the same round capacity as your Glock 19, which is one of the most popular firearms in the world. And to be honest, it made the Glock 43 pretty much a safe queen. Uh, six rounds when you have just a little bit more with the G43X. Now Shield Arms has introduced their G9 magazine. This fits the Glock 43 and you have nine rounds plus one. And it really makes a big difference. Now we're going to compare this not only to the standard magazine but also to other magazines that have additional base plates to the original Glock magazine. And we're going to do some shooting. And guys, we really appreciate Shield Arms for sending the Z9 magazines for this review. Uh, but again, it really brought my Glock 43 back to life. Because Glocks rock. Let's check to see if the guns are unloaded. Go ahead and drop our six round magazine and the chamber's empty. Now here we have the Model 43 Glock. Uh, this is a single stack pistol. A lot of people during the time were really looking for single stacks. And this was Glock's answer. Uh, the one thing about it is it had a six round magazine uh, and then of course one in the chamber and so that really limited the size but at that time with single stack people were wanting something that was easily concealable and so a lot of people were willing to sacrifice their mag capacity then the double stack pistols started coming out the micro nines and sig offered their uh, p365 it had 10 plus one it was the same size as your glock 43 but it was 10 plus one. And so that really started a revolution with the uh, concealed carry market. Glock's answer was the G43X or the Model 43X. And this was a Glock 43 slide, but yet it had a 10 round magazine, a little bit longer grip. And what that did was, is it just gave you more round capacity for a very thin small pistol. But yet this grip is still fairly long. Uh, but one of the things that really kind of changed the uh, Model 43X was the Shield Arms S15 magazines. This was 15 rounds. It replaced the standard factory mag of the 10 rounds. And so now I've got a really thin pistol with 15 and 1. And that's a big plus. Uh, the, one of the things about the 43X, though, is the grip is longer. In fact, if we put these two together... You can see you're getting four more rounds, but you know, you're getting more grip. And honestly, that's not a lot of grip for four more rounds. But one of the problems is, is this is a longer grip. It's a little more difficult to conceal. For me, especially appendix carry, uh, this sticks out too much. It prints all the time. And so I kind of started going away from the uh, Glock 43X until Shield came out with their 15 round magazine. It just gave an enormous capacity for this really small pistol. But I still miss the size of the G43. 
And what happened is this gun went into my safe. I just didn't carry it that much. Now my daughter, and this is her G43. Uh, this is actually has a, a custom head down finish on it. Of course, she's been using this thing pretty heavily. And this is the gun that she prefers, even though there's more round capacity here. And so a lot of people are still carrying the 43 because it's so small and they just like Glock. Well, then Shield Arms came out with the Z9 magazine. Now, this is a steel magazine. It has all the upgrades of the Gen 2 with the Shield Arms S15. And so this is going to have some advantages from those earlier models. Uh, and then, of course, you have a little bit of an extended base plate right here. This gives you nine rounds plus one. Uh, and with the original, we have six rounds. And so I'm going to show you the difference between the two. It does extend the grip just a little bit. There is some extension, but that gives you three additional rounds, which is pretty good. Now, one of the problems and the reason why Glock can't really expand this is because the polymer thickens the magazine. When you're going to a metal magazine, you're able to get a little bit more width on the inside of the magazine. So that is a huge plus and one of the reasons why Shield Arms has been so successful is the polymer, it's just there, and Glock's not going to change. I mean, they like the polymer magazines. I'm a fan of polymer magazines, but I really want that extra round capacity. Now, when you take the 43X and you compare it to the 43 with the Shield Arms magazine, you still have some space right here, but yet it's shorter. It gives you a little less to have to conceal. But you are getting 15 rounds out of the Shield magazine in this uh, Glock 43X. So, you know, it's one of those things that you have to decide if the trade-off is worth it. But it does give a little bit of an extension to the Glock itself. One of the things about the Glock 43 is that your pinky hangs off a little bit. Now, with the magazine in there, it's not quite as bad. But I have medium-sized hands, so I can imagine if you have large hands, your hands are going to actually, just pinky's going to hang off. And so, really, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of an extension right here to give you a full grip on the pistol. And yet again, keep it a little bit shorter. So, if you have a standard factory Glock mag in your 43X, then you're going to have actually only one additional round, and you're going to have a little bit less grip. Now, a little closer look at the mag itself. It has a blued finish. Uh, it is steel. has ample ambidextrous cuts for your mag release. Of course, you are numbered. This side says 8, and then we go to 9, made in the USA. Uh, the polymer base pad does extend down. And then we have the Gen 2 followers. Uh, this is one of the Gen 1 followers for the S15. And there are some differences between the Gen 1 and Gen 2. Um, I didn't have the Gen 2 right close by, so I just wanted to show this one. But overall, there's been a lot of improvements with the Gen 1, and this includes all the improvements from the Gen 2. Uh, but this black follower is one of the things that designates a Gen 2 follower. And so this has been through some testing and some time to really bring this out and they did work on this for a while. And here's your standard Glock mag. You can see that polymer um, and it's reinforced steel inside but it does make it thicker. And that's just one of the biggest issues. But these mags are really well done. Very nice mags. You know, again, it just bumps that up from 6 to 9. Now, the factory magazine release for your Glock is a polymer mag release. And then you're putting in those steel mags. So I highly recommend getting one of the Shield Arms uh, steel mag releases. It has nice texturing on it, and it will last longer than the polymer mag release. I mean, that steel going up in there over and over, it's just going to cause wear. Now, you can use this for a while, because I use this at times. But uh, you don't want to have a steady diet. Here with the G19X, we have one of the original Shield Arms steel magazine releases. Now to give you a bird's eye view, we have the standard uh, 6 plus 1 magazine. That's the Glock Factory magazine. Uh, you can get an additional one round. This is with the Pierce grip. And then we have the Ghost Industries. This is a two round extension. We have the EMP, which is a two round extension. Then we have the Tyrant Designs. This is a three round extension and you can also get a two round extension as well. Uh, these are aluminum. The rest of these are polymer. And then we have the Shield Arms Z9 magazine. And again, we have nine rounds plus one. So also nine rounds plus one, eight rounds, eight rounds, seven rounds, six rounds. But all of these take your existing Glock magazines. 
the Shield Arms is a metal magazine, and that's going to be really one of the big differences. Now, with these extended base plates on your existing mag, you know, we've talked about the different rounds, counts, uh, but I'm going to show you head to head uh, compared to the Shield Arms mag. Again, we have nine rounds right here. Uh, this is one of the Pierce extensions. It gives you one additional round, so we have seven rounds plus one. Here, we have the nine rounds plus one. Here you can see that with that Pierce grip, it actually comes down a little bit to where it meets where the Shield Arms mag comes. So you're getting two additional rounds, and yet you're not really losing a lot. Now, I really like this grip as far as shootability, but it still only gives you seven rounds. Now we have nine plus one. Here we have the Ghost Industries. Uh, it is a two plus one. We're going to put the Shield Arms right next to it. And you can see you're getting one additional round with the Shield Arms mag, whereas the Ghost Industries does hang out about a half inch. Next, we have the EMP, and this is a plus two mag. Go ahead and compare it to the shield. Comes down quite a bit, and you're, you're actually losing one round. So nine rounds, eight rounds. And then we have the Tyrant Designs. Now this one is a plus three, uh, so it's really getting it up there. Compared, so we have the same mag capacity between these two pistols, and yet you see that the Tyrant Designs hangs off again about a half inch actually maybe a little bit longer down here at the end and again you can get that two round extension from tyrant designs as well so while you're getting the extra rounds with a shorter grip these actually fit to the original glock mags so if you really like the glock mags and you want to extend it you can go with these different magazine bases it's just going to give you more rounds for your standard Glock mag. So again, if you just want to up it uh, with the round capacity, going with that metal mag, and then, you know, it's still a little bit shorter than most of these, uh, you, but you're getting more round capacity. And so you just have to decide what is the trade-off. If you're like me, I've got a bunch of Glock 43 mags that I bought when I first got my Glock. Uh, so, and the Glock 43 was a big part of my concealed carry. But these are extended really past what I like. Uh, I have a buddy of mine that has a number of these EMPs. He loves them. But he also has the Shield Arms mags for his Glock 43X. So I could see that he would probably change that out. But again, guys, it's just another offering. And to me, better round count, a little bit shorter grip, gives you some advantages. Then again, if you've already got Glock mags and you're like, hey, I just want to add a base plate. And I can use this as an extra mag, carry the six rounder in my Glock, and then I'll have a backup. Guys, it just gives us more choices. We appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA. Good, clean, burning ammunition. Also, we appreciate Lula Loaders for saving our thumbs. When you first get these, that ninth round is a little tough to get in at first, and then it'll even out. Went down to the range, we took 300 rounds. Uh, we shot all 300, no malfunctions at all. Uh, mags dropped, slide held back. I mean, they just worked. Uh, we did switch it back and forth to the magazine with the steel mag release and just the basic polymer factory mag release. Uh, didn't have any problems, but over time, it's best to have that steel mag release. Uh, these magazines are just tough. Uh, you know, they're, they're steel, they just work good. Uh, we were shooting in different modes, trying to find out if they would malfunction. We really couldn't get them to do anything except work. Now, my daughter carries a G43, and I wanted to make sure these mags work because she will use these mags in her concealed carry. So it's important to me. Um, overall, again, you know, we'll put 1,000 rounds through it. We'll see how it works. But as far as the initial testing, we didn't have any hiccups. The price on the Shield Arms Z9 magazine is going to be $42, uh, and then for the uh, combination with the mag release that's black nitrided steel, uh, this runs $60 for both. And guys, if you're like me and you have a Glock 43 and you love it, but it's 6 plus 1, now you can up the game and bring in 9 plus 1, and it makes a world of difference. I mean, that's three extra rounds in really a tiny, small package. 
adding just a little bit to the grip, but then it gives you a full size grip. And when it comes to the Glock G43X, you have the Shield S15 magazine, but it has that longer grip. It's a little more difficult to conceal, but it really gets that round count up. And guys, I'll tell you now, these will be kind of difficult to get at times because the demand is going to be so high. The S15 magazines, they're really coming in strong now. Guys, it's well worth upgrading your Glocks. And we really appreciate Shield Arms for sending the Z9 magazines, not only for this review, but also to bring my Glock 43 back to life. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. round magazine 10 round the Glock 40 the Glock 40 but if you want to up it again there's a lot of advantages well shoot the one of the things about this single stack again is it's just and I haven't checked to see if they're safe but I know they're safe but you don't know they're safe so we're gonna have to check it and when it comes to the Glock 19x and then when it comes to the Glock and we really appreciate shield arms